Hello, I hope you're doing well. I'm Arif and today we're going to be going to a huge supermarket here in China. It's called Metro. It's actually a German brand supermarket. Um, but the reason I'm going there is, you know, big brand supermarkets around the world, they're all similar here. Yeah? But um, sometimes there's a little twist. So the Metro here in China will probably have a lot of Chinese snacks. So that will be interesting to, uh, to look at. Um, so yeah, we'll head there and we'll check it out. There's the Batmobile. It will take me there, I hope. Metro is around 20 minutes from my house. So it's not too bad. It's getting dark soon though. It's actually quite a nice day today. It was dull yesterday, so dull, but the sun's shining uh, today. Well, not at the moment, like it's, uh, it's going to be night time soon. I came out at the wrong time. It's peak hour right now. The roads are full. Silly me, silly me. And we have arrived. We have officially arrived to Metro in China. There it is. Right, park up. Let's park up here. Eh? There you go. It looks absolutely huge. And it is huge. I've been here before a few times now. Right. Let's see what goodies they have in here today. And we are in and it is absolutely huge and we are greeted with these rabbits because it's chinese new year the year of the rabbit they're pretty cute oh sorry mate sorry mate i didn't mean to do that there you go right yeah chinese new year the year of the rabbit and we are greeted with our first snack which is spicy duck tongue there you go spicy duck tongue i've never tried duck tongue before um but maybe one day you never know there's plenty of them <laughs> plenty of them oh it's a different kind stewed duck tongue hmm interesting let's see what else they have around here Right, I'm more interested in the food sections around here. So let's go and have a look at the food sections. The food sections, we have arrived. Some traditional Chinese snacks, egg yolk pastry. Nice. What else have we got? Some Swiss rolls. A lot of food here will be foreign imported. But like I said before, there'll be some Chinese twists like these. Got some snacks over here. We've got some crisps. Oh, cucumber crisps. Who's had cucumber crisps before? I've had them. I'm not really keen on them, but you know, each to their own. Yeah, cucumber crisps. I've never seen those back home in England. Um, not yet, anyways, not yet. We have some, what are these? Salted egg yolk flavor. Yeah, I've seen these before. I don't think I've tried these either, to be fair. But I should try them because I do like egg. I do like egg very, very much. Some more cucumber crisps some lime crisps what else have they got a lot of interesting flavors Ooh, chili lemon crab interesting now these look really really good very nice very very nice truffle flavored crisps let's have a look at these isn't truffle for like rich people I'm not rich, so should I buy them? Am I allowed to buy them? Hmm. Truffle. I've never actually had truffle, so I'm not really sure if I would like it or not. Has anyone tried truffle? If we look over here, we've got some... What are these? 
not really sure what they are. Well, that's chicken feet. So I believe that'll be chicken feet too. The chicken feet. I'm guessing this is chicken feet. Yeah. Chicken feet. Who's had chicken feet before? I've had chicken feet before. Um, I think a few months back now. We've got barbecued pork jerky. Woohoo! That does sound good. Barbecued pork jerky. Oh, I'm salivating listening to that. Some beef snacks, dried beef. Some more shredded beef over here. Beef jerky. I love beef jerky. Air dried beef. Interesting. Never heard of air dried beef before. Spicy beef. I love spicy food, so I probably would like that. Right, what else have they got here? Coconut chips. We've got. There's a lot of dried snacks here. If you like dried snacks, you're in dry snack heaven over here. Oh, here we go. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Absolute classic over here. Spicy lotus root. I've actually had this before in a hot pot. Um, and it's pretty nice, actually. Pretty nice. Especially the spicy one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Right. Can somebody tell me the name of this? It's either tea eggs or is it centurion egg or something like that? Yeah. If you know the name, can you tell me the name of this? Unless it's here somewhere. Cheers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's not called cheers. I know that for a fact. <laughs> anyway, if you know the name of this, let me know. It's either centurion egg or tea egg. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm no expert. I'm no expert. So, yeah, help me out. Help me out. Got some dried fish over here. Let's uh, What's this? Some squid, I believe. Dried squid. Got some more dried food here. This is dried fruit, though. Fruit. We have... Oh! Very interesting. Durian. The smelliest fruit in the world. Dried durian fruit. Um, I've never actually had durian before. I've been willing to try it for a while, but I've always backed out of the idea. Um, I'm a little scared of durian. I've heard a lot of stories, you know, the bad smell and stuff. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. There's jackfruit over there. I, I will try to read one day. I will try it one day. I mean, this looks good. Mango. We are at the noodle section. A lot of varieties of noodle. This looks like beef and mushroom. Some tomato and coriander over there. Some green onion over here. Stir fried, original flavor. Ooh, ooh. Steamed and baked got a lot of flavors over here lobster flavor is that lobster or crayfish oh lobster here we go lobster instant noodles i love lobster never had lobster flavored noodles do what else have we got here this one here some eggs sweet corn mushroom green onion all sorts we've got all sorts a bit of a medley some beef tomato some more flavors like i said a lot of flavors here old mature vinegar sour and spicy beef noodles now these sound really good actually i like all those ingredients some more here spoil for choice if you ask me these pop noodles are absolutely huge big as my head and they're quite cheap actually got some prices there 5.30 6.30 all well under a pound well under a, a british pound got some beef and some pickles over there some, got some beef and some pickled ingredients over there 
Very nice, very nice. The standard tomato one. I think this is my favorite. I've had this one before. The king of tomato or tomato, whatever you're from. These are really, really delicious. I recommend. Very much recommend. Some mushroom. Is that avocado? Sweet corn and beef. And beef. Du, du, du. Yeah, definitely spoiled for choice over here. <clears throat> Some Chinese food gift set. A nut gift set. Some more different kinds of nut gift set here. I love food gift sets. Some more here. I think my favorite gifts, you know, on Christmas or birthdays or whatever, are food gift sets, I think. I don't know why. I just love food. Some of the frozen items here look absolutely marvelous. Look at that. Cheese hot dog sticks. Wow. Cheese hot dog sticks. Never had these before. Interesting. They actually look pretty good. Look pretty good. Cheese and hot dog. How can you go wrong with that? Oh my god. Look at these. Is this like a burrito or something? Cheese beef rolls. Go on. Tell me that doesn't look good. Tell me I dare you. Cheese, shrimp and bacon roll. If you like shrimp, seafood. Which one's this one? Handmade cheese chicken roll. We've got all the flavors over here. All the flavors. Anything that stands out? Ooh. Ooh. ooh, ooh. How do you open this? Is this crayfish or is it like dumpling crayfish? I'm not really sure. Quite heavy actually though. Really heavy. I'll tell you what stood out here. Check this out. Durian pizza, believe it or not. Yes. Durian's that popular over here. They've made a pizza with it. <laughs> Would you try a durian pizza? I probably would actually, you know. I'm a little scared of the fresh durian, but durian pizza? I could dabble with that, I could dabble with that. Some mushroom and vegetable dumplings over here. Wow, 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 I'm getting hungry. I'm getting very, very hungry looking at all this food, to be fair. Very, very hungry. What's this? Some kind of bread, organic vegetable, puree steamed bread. And it's very, very colorful. <laughs> I've never had that before. Looks interesting though. I could double with that. I could double with that. Some cute cow. <laughs> but what is it? Oh, some kind of bread with the shape of a cow on. Some more dumplings, I believe. Different kinds. Mackerel dumpling. Mm, let's have a look. Some mackerel dumpling over here. Some meat ones. Oh, we love a dumpling over here, I tell ya. We love a dumpling over here. These look nice. These look very nice. And if you really like dumplings, you can buy a huge pack. That's like five pounds more or less, I think. Or oh, is that the price? Which one's the price? I'm not sure. That's like under four pounds. That's like on around five pounds. Um, oh, this is heavy. This is really heavy. There's loads in here. Look at that. Right, I spotted these. Hello. Right, these are crab cream balls. I've had these before in a Malatan. 
pretty nice that's what they look like inside when you open them they're very very colorful you can get some purple ones yellow ones brown ones so many different colors but yeah crab cream balls really nice in a malatan or a hot pot that's really annoying actually <laughs> really annoying I better get away from it got some cheese hot shrimp balls literally made out of shrimp what with cheese inside these must be good come on must be shall I buy these I actually might got some cuttlefish balls over here with green onion some pork meatballs over here some beef tendon balls a lot of balls going on over here if you like balls you're laughing tea cakes you're laughing tea cakes mate a few more balls over here big balls and some small balls it's absolutely huge in here I could be here all day but I'll end the video there because um, yeah I'll be here all night and I have to get home it's very very dark outside so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one be good be safe be kind see you later Boom! it's very dark now good luck to me driving home I've got some lights on my bike so it's all good it's all good the thing is, where is my bike? Where did I park it? That's the question. Oh, there she is. There's the Batmobile. Put the stuff on here and away we go. Engine on and bara boom. We're on the way to Amarillo. Every day I've been hugging my pillow. It's absolutely freezing this wasn't a good idea <laughs>